Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. This is for my Capricorn babies that are a Capricorn sun, moon, or rising. So if you have Capricorn in your big three in your birth chart, or if you're dealing with a Capricorn in your love life, this is for you. Let's see what's going on, what messages Spirit has for you right now. If you resonate with my reading, subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, hello, babe. Welcome back. We have Honeymoon. Woo! Getting to know each other and engagement. Whoa. Things are moving quickly, Capricorn. Wow. Okay, you either just met somebody or you're about to meet somebody. And it's moving really quickly. Five of Swords. Eight of Cups. Four of Swords. It, it's almost like too fast. It's like you're not over the past yet. And this is happening too quickly. Or the person that you're getting into a connection with is rebounding from somebody else directly to you and it's too soon they're moving too fast it's like it's too intense too quickly here You or this person just walked away from somebody else or just started getting over somebody from the past. And it's like this, this connection between the two of you is coming along now. But one of you is not over the person in the past yet. It hasn't been enough time to heal and let go of someone. To jump all in with somebody new. One of you is still stuck in the past a little bit. Yeah, you need to take it slow. A lot of you feel that and you know you need to take it slow. I feel like you're both going too quickly for actually it's mutual you guys both have stuff from the past that hasn't worked out four of cups four of swords four 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 five 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 you guys are mirroring mirror mirroring mirroring each other in a way that you've been through similar things in the past and you haven't, neither one of you has had enough time to completely detach from the past and move on and resolve things. I feel like there's someone here that really wants to get in a relationship and move forward now. You or this person is like ready to go all in intensely right away. And they're not really ready though. That's too soon to do that. Somebody's trying to rush things here and there's like a need for you or them to pull back and just restrain yourselves a little bit. Don't move too fast because if you guys start out too fast, too intense in this connection here, it's going to end quickly. It's going to fall apart because it doesn't have a solid foundation. You guys both need some time to completely detach and heal from the past. You and this person. So don't let this person push you into things too quickly. And also don't be too pushy with them. Okay. Be patient. Practice patience. Take your time. Let things unfold naturally. You know, go on some dates. Get to know each other. Don't constantly be talking to this person on the phone you know give each other some space 
you know, date a few times a week. Take your time. Don't rush it. You don't have to be together 24-7, talking to each other 24-7, living together after a couple of weeks, you know, that kind of thing. Like, just slow it down. You don't have to go from your first date to being in a relationship. You can take your time. Date for a little while before you commit. Take it slow. Even if you feel like rushing or you feel like they're rushing you, just try to resist that and slow it down. Pump the brakes is what Spirit's saying. Or it's going to end up falling apart because it was too much pressure too quickly. There's Cancer energy coming through here. You could have a Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn involved here um, or from the past. There's, there's some past energy still lingering around for both of you. They have somebody from their past as well that they're not completely detached or healed from. So be aware of that. Let's get some charms to get some synchronicities. If you, if this might be loud for you, if you have like AirPods in, so turn down your volume while I shuffle the charms. So this person is willing to put in a lot of effort into the connection with you, whoever this is. They feel all in and they feel like they're putting in effort. Okay. Uh, one of you has a person from the past that is not trustworthy. You or your person is connected to somebody from the past that, that you should not trust. They feel jealous. They feel competitive. They feel like they're willing to win at all costs. They feel sneaky and manipulative and like a homewrecker type of energy. So just be careful. One of you has like a homewrecker energy attached to you. Somebody that will purposefully try to sabotage the relationship between the two of you. It's either their ex or your ex. Somebody around the two of you. Okay, this person though that you're connecting with here is... They're more of a follower... They're not, no, 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 no. They're more of a follower. Shoot, okay. See, this is the problem is it feels like there's a boundary issue between you and the person that is being manipulative or if it's a person that's attached to your partner here. It feels like there's the manipulation is heavy. Whoever's being manipulated doesn't even realize it at first. They're just taking this person's word for it or they're going along with the situation, uh, not realizing that they're being manipulated. Somebody's following, following. See, we got a follower energy rather than a leader. It's somebody's following somebody else's advice. They're following what somebody else says, but the person's like manipulating them, giving them bad advice, purposely trying to sabotage a connection. But there's bad advice being given or followed. It's like someone's being talked into something here. You or your person has a very persuasive energy around you that 
that knows how to talk you into things or manipulate energy to where they get what they want and they also cause issues in your love life. Okay. British Columbia is coming through for someone here. I am getting like a tangled web that has been weaved. There's a somebody that's strongly attached to this situation that is causing drama, that's causing issues. I feel like part of it is because you guys, there's not enough time or detachment before you get into this new situation here. There's not enough time to like purge the past yet. So the past is still lingering around and affecting the two of you. The It's like bringing pressure and toxic situations into the connection with you, you and this person. Things that you guys are going to have to like work on or fix or that could actually permanently damage your relationship because of the things that go on with this outside party interfering too much. They're, they're being sneaky. They're being manipulative. They know what they're doing. They're smart and they're manipulative. And whoever they're manipulating doesn't realize it. it some of you it's you you don't realize that this person's been manipulating you but for a lot of you you're dealing with somebody you're meeting somebody that has an ex or a toxic connection around them that has fooled them they don't see that this person is fooling them, that this person is manipulating them, that this person is actually causing issues. Like, they don't believe it or they don't see it. It's like they're duped. That's frustrating for the other person that's involved because I feel like you know this person's being duped by their ex or manipulated by their ex and i feel like a lot of you have addressed this with them or you eventually will like okay yeah i i know that you want us to be serious together but you need to stop giving money to your ex then <laughs> You know, like, stop paying your ex's insurance or whatever. There's, there's something that this person's continuing to do that is like, there needs to be a boundary. It's like there's no boundary there with someone that can cause a lot of drama between the two of you. And they want to cause drama. Like, their purpose is to cause drama. Their intention is to cause drama. But your person doesn't see that. They don't see that this person is like manipulating them and purposely causing issues. They're blinded and fooled by whoever this is and it's not fair to you. Okay. There's some significance to Halloween that is coming through. And if you have Virgo in your chart, you might want to check that out. Or if you're dealing with a Virgo, there's some Virgo energy coming through this reading. So listen to the Virgo reading that I just released as well. See if it resonates for you. Uh, some of you are relocating or moving or you recently just moved. I'm getting somebody that just moved, relocated. You're going to end up moving in quickly or this person's going to try to get you guys to move in quickly together. Like, just take things slow. Don't move in together too fast. Don't commit to each other too fast. There's no reason to rush. Enjoy the honeymoon stage, you know. Make that last as long as possible by 
taking your time and not jumping the gun, not jumping past that phase and going straight to playing house together, you know, moving in together too soon, getting engaged right away, making things public commitment right away when you're not even sure if you know this person yet. Like you don't, I feel like you don't totally know enough yet about this person you're dealing with. And there's, I don't like that they're allowing this, this other party to cause so many issues and they're not willing to even see what's going on. Like this person has rose colored glasses on when it comes to the third party interfering in the connection. They don't want to see what this person's actually doing, which is so unfair to you because you're dealing with the manipulation on the other end and this person's not putting up any boundaries or stopping it from happening. They're like, go ahead. <laughs> They're just like, take your shot, you know? They're enabling this other person to manipulate and sabotage your connection when there is actually really good potential for things to work out between the two of you if this person was willing to put up strong boundaries with their past but it, they're not they're not willing to do that you might end up having to walk away from them at least for now until they get to a place because uh, I'm getting that it might work out later on, but you might have to pull away from this person until they separate more from this past energy. Some of you, this is like they're still living with their ex. They're still paying for shit for their ex. There's something that's like inappropriate for them to still be doing and be in another relationship, it's going to cause problems with anybody that they try to have a relationship with. Like, no one's going to be okay with this shit, you know? Nobody's going to put up with that. So, you might have to separate from them until they get this taken care of to show that you're serious, that you're not going to put up with that kind of thing. And this could be you, you guys, if you need to flip the energy, flip it. It could be you that has a connection with somebody from your past, that you're expecting this other person to put up with it and they're not going to they're going to dip out they're going to be like no i'm not okay with you still living with your husband you know i'm not okay with you still going camping with your ex no sorry i'm not okay with you guys going to that concert together because you bought tickets six months ago sorry it's like this other person's willing to dip out if you don't put up a boundary with your past. You might both have issues too with uh, some of you. It's both of you that has some boundary issues going on with the past. You got to completely cut that out first before you move on to something new. Or you're starting on a very rocky very unstable foundation where one of you ends up just leaving because it's not sustainable it's unsustainable so stay in your integrity and make sure you're paying attention to if this person has boundaries and integrity with other people because I feel like some of you haven't known each other long enough to know that yet. Or as you get to know this person, you start realizing, whoa, they're way too cozy with their ex. There's someone specific here talking about their ex stole something from them or is currently like scamming them somehow they're they're manipulating them out of money 
there's something here about a pumpkin patch going to the pumpkin patch this could have to do with children involved for some of you there's children I'm just getting a really sneaky person that's manipulative and they know exactly what they're doing and they are purposefully doing things to get at you to disrespect your connection if this hasn't happened yet it's like something that's that's coming in you're gonna feel it coming though because you're gonna notice that the person you're dealing with is allowing it yeah you gotta look out for yourself and if that means walking away at least for now until this person can hopefully get some boundaries with the past let go of the past a little then that's what you gotta do okay it's like at some point there's nothing really that you can do to fix it. It's the balls in their court. I just heard three's company. Um, three's a crowd. So one of you thinks that it's okay for this person to be around and involved and that it shouldn't be a problem. And the other person is saying, uh, I beg to differ, motherfucker. <laughs> I beg to differ all right there is a spiritual factor involved here this is some sort of spiritual lesson so you have a chance to learn things in this situation and evolve from it and become wiser because of the experience even if it is an unpleasant experience i'm getting scorpio energy okay that's coming through and libra all right I hope you guys enjoyed that reading hit the thumbs up if it resonated for you and subscribe to my channel if you're not already if you're resonating with my readings if you'd like to purchase any spiritual jewelry i do have evil eye bracelets available there will be more in the future i have evil eye sun catchers available now in my etsy shop and i also have private readings if you're interested in those you can book private reading with me if you're done here, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to listen to your sun, moon, and your rising sign, okay? So you don't miss any messages. Bye, guys.